So I have before me the MSI Creator 15 OLED and the new kit on the block, the MSI Creator Z16. Two laptops from MSI, two laptops built for creative professionals. Let's find out which one you should buy. Well, just so you know, here are the benchmarks that are going to be coming up in just a minute. But the first thing I'm going to do is dive into the build quality and usability of each of these laptops to see which one's the best choice on that front. And then we'll get into the performance benchmarks later in the video. Now, starting off with build quality, my award immediately goes to the MSI Z16. Now, as you can see right off the bat, the Z16 is a thinner laptop, but it is also a lighter laptop as well. They're almost the same size, but the Z16 is just slightly lighter. Now, what I like about the Z16 also is the rounded edges of the chassis. So as I pull this up and take a look here, there are so many nice rounded edges on this chassis. The bottom cover fits into the side panels very well. Everything is assembled and engineered with thoughtfulness. Um, I like the port selection. I like the vents. It has a great package as far as an on-the-go friendly laptop. Now, as we get over here to the MSI Creator 15 OLED, it's got more ports, but the assembly is not as refined. It looks more like their Raider or Stealth, and then they just slapped a better screen on it. And that's what disappoints me a little bit about the Creator OLED versus the Z16. I feel like the Z16 was assembled with creators in mind. I feel like the Creator 15 OLED was an attempt to take a laptop they had and turn it into a Creator laptop, which is not necessarily a bad thing. This has great performance, but it just isn't as refined as I would want it to be as far as a creator laptop is concerned. The way that the side panels fit into the bottom cover is just very harsh. It's this like 90 degree angle. There's no noticeably catchy edges, but it definitely is not as refined as the Z16. Now regarding the ports, we'll take a quick look there. You're gonna have more ports on the Creator 15 if that's what you're going for. We have our network port, two USB type A's, a USB type C, and a headphone jack. And on the other side, we have the power port, USB type C, HDMI, and a USB type A. Whereas on the Z16, you have a USB type A, USB type C headphone jack, and then of course your power port. And on the other side, we have a USB type A, USB type C, and a micro SD card slot. So if you're going for port selection, I would actually lean you towards the MSI Creator 15 OLED rather than the Z16. Now regarding build quality, I feel like the build on the Z16 is better. We talked about how the bottom panel is fit into the side panels, and both of these are aluminum laptops, but the materials and the way that this Z16 is assembled just stands out as much better quality than the Creator 15. Now, now let's go ahead and open and close the lids real quick to test that out and see how easy each of them is to open and close. Both are about the same. Ease of open and closing is not a big deal. Let's go ahead and check out the screen flex. Some screen flex on the Z16 for sure. Uh, and I would say about the same for the Creator 15 as well. Let's go ahead and swing around and look at the keyboards and trackpads. As you can see, we actually get a larger trackpad on the Creator 15 rather than the Z16, which actually surprised me. When I reviewed these separately, it looked like they were the same size, but we actually have a wider trackpad on the Creator 15 than we do the Z16. Now, this was one of my big complaints. I felt like the trackpads could definitely be taller. They're nice and wide, but there's so much room up at the top of the keyboard deck and even around the trackpad where they could have made these trackpads taller. It's one point that I would definitely ding on these laptops. I wish the trackpads were larger, however they're not. But I had some people drop comments in the full dedicated review of the Z16, and they were saying the trackpad actually didn't bother them. They actually enjoyed it, and it worked very well. Um, but from a personal preference, I would prefer a larger trackpad, which neither of these have. Now, checking out the keyboards, you can see that they both come with Steel Series keyboards, a nice, quiet, clicky key press for each of the keyboards. Both keyboards have quick access to the MSI Center Pro, so you can quickly adjust your fan noise, battery optimizations, etc. Now regarding how each of these trackpads and keyboard decks sound, here's a quick audio sample of me using them. And then in regards to the audio experience for the speakers, here is a sample of the Z16 as well as the MSI Creator 15.
Both laptops also come with webcams. And here's a quick sample of me using each of the webcams. Here is the webcam for the Z16. You can see the color and the audio right now. It's definitely a little grainy. I've got good lighting on me, uh, but it'll do the trick as well. Here is the webcam on the MSI Creator 15, and it is it is quite quite bad. Not I'm not gonna lie, it's it's not good. Now, punch for punch, they both have high quality screens, but the MSI Z16 is going to come with that 16 by 10 aspect ratio, which I think is much better for creative professionals. You got so much more room, that extra half inch on the screen really sets up a nice workspace for video editing, 3D modeling, work in Photoshop, whatever you might be doing as your creative work. Now, keep in mind, the Z16 also has a touchscreen where the creator OLED does not. So if you want to, you know, touch up some drawings or something on the screen with the Z16, you can do that where you are unable to do that on the creator OLED. Regarding battery life of which laptop is better on the go, here are the results coming up on the screen right now for which one has more longevity. One area of concern when considering a laptop is the upgrade path, and both laptops come with a very easy upgrade path. You can swap out both of the RAM sticks. You have an additional upgrade paths for the SSDs. So the upgrade path on each of these laptops is good, which allows you to not be stuck wherever you purchase a laptop, but make upgrades later so you have a more long-term sustainable laptop if you increase your workflow or the file size of video editing. Let's say you start at 4K and then move to 6K. You want to have more RAM. Whatever it might be, both laptops will suit your needs. Now, if you're going to choose one of these laptops off looking good all the time, I would go with the Z16. As you can see, there's no fingerprints on the Z16. I tend to have pretty oily hands, so fingerprints are very noticeable on these matte black laptops. So if that's something that really concerns you and annoys you, I would lean towards the Z16 for that alone. Now, regarding the brightness, color accuracy, and color gamut range of each of these screens, you can check out those results coming up on the screen now. One area that really frustrated me about both of these laptops is the fan noise. At idle, the fans are running. While web browsing, the fans are running. It's not loud, like very loud, but it's loud enough to be like, why are the fans running at idle? Now you can go in and mess with some of the optimization settings to try and get that to kick off, but for the most part, it wants to run in standard balance mode or performance mode. And so that was one area that I was a little frustrated by. I thought most laptops that I review these days don't have fan noise at idle or while web browsing, where these did. So keep that in mind. These are great performing laptops, but that fan noise was pretty annoying to me. Now, before we get into the benchmarks, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of each of these laptops, you can head down in the description below and click those links. Now, if you do make a purchase through one of those links, I will get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. These laptops are set up with the i7 11800H RTX 3060 GPUs, one terabyte of SSD, and they both have 32 gigs of RAM. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the performance section of this video. As a quick recap, we have the i7 11800H in the Z16, as well as in the Creator. 15 as well as the RTX 3060. Now keep in mind that the Creator 15 has 16 gigs of RAM and the Z16 has 32 gigs of RAM. I already sent back the Z16 so I'm unable to run those benchmarks at 16 gigs but just so you know if there's some slight score differences um, that might be the reason why because these laptops should be very similar in performance. All right, now without further ado, let's get into Cinebench R20, R23, Geekbench Single Core, and Multi Core. And as you can see, as predicted, they are neck and neck in these tests. And what I think the extra score might be coming from in certain respects is going to be that extra gigs of RAM inside of the Z16. But you can see that it's barely doing anything in these simulated benchmarks.
as we move into 3D modeling, you can see that the Z16 takes the lead in Autodesk Maya, but on Autodesk 3DS Max, PTC Creo, and SolidWorks, the Creator 15 takes the lead. And it's only by about you know 20 to 60 points, depending on the specific test. We're not seeing a massive leap between these two laptops in the different 3D modeling tests, so really either one will work well for your needs if you're considering between the two. As we move into After Effects, you can see we're getting a better score out of the Z16. It's gonna be about 80 points, and honestly, that is the RAM that you're seeing there. The extra 80 points is a lot to do with the RAM. So if this laptop, the Creator 15, had the extra RAM at 32 gigs, they would be completely neck and neck there again. RAM really is helpful inside of After Effects. Moving on to video editing, you can see the export times coming up on the screen for each of the models now. And again, neck and neck, that's gonna be the theme of the performance section of this video is their neck and neck. So really it's gonna come down to which model do you like according to the build quality, the usability, maybe the webcam, the keyboard. Those are gonna be the big deciding factors. It's less of the performance side of things. It's more of the usability and build quality side of things that you should be making your pick off of. Now, as we move forward into the playback, you can see again, they're close on playback. Both do well in 4K with zero drop frames. B-RAW is really good. And then we struggle on red footage. Red footage is so beefy. It's really hard for even a lot of laptops to, to blaze through that at full quality playback. Now, as we head down the line to the thermals, export times, and fan noise, you can see that they both are quite loud as regards to their fan noise. Thermals are slightly better on the MSI Creator 15, and the export times are very similar as well, with slightly better export times out of the Z16. Now moving on to DaVinci Resolve, we can see that the playback is very optimized for DaVinci Resolve on both laptops. Premiere Pro seems to struggle with playback more than DaVinci Resolve does, so really either laptop will work well there. In regards to the export times, they're both okay. Because these are Intel laptops, Intel doesn't do as good as Ryzen, and it especially doesn't do as good as the new MacBook Pro lineup with the M1 Pro and M1 Max, but the export times are decent. Now moving on to Photoshop, the Z16 really stepped it up, but once again, the Z16 has 32 gigs of RAM. So if the Creator 15 had the 32 gigs of RAM that it needed, we would be up around the high 800s or low 900s for the MSI Creator 15. Now, really the choice is yours because as you can see, these laptops are neck and neck in performance. It's really the build quality. And if it were me, I would lean towards the Z16. I just think it's a much better built laptop. They've kind of brought their old edition into the new year. And I think the Z16 was really, I think it's gonna be their flagship moving forward. At least I hope it is. Cause this is really more like a stealth or a Raider that they've put a better screen on and said, hey, this is a creator laptop. I think the Z16 is actually specifically built for creators and it just looks like a more well-designed piece of machinery. Links if you're ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you don't miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next video.